Hi, I'm Bob Bentz, and I'm Director of Marketing and Sales at Advanced Telecom Services in Wayne, Pennsylvania. We also have offices in Vancouver, London, Dublin, and Prague, Czech Republic. I've been in this business of 900 numbers since 1989, so I've seen a lot in those years. And 900 is still a very viable marketing tool uh, that you should be considering using in your marketing. Before we get into the details here, I want to show you a couple things. First of all, the book Opportunity is Calling, How to Start Your Own 900 Number. This is available for $29.95, and all you have to do to obtain it is send us a check or PayPal to sales at advancedtelly.com, and we'll get a copy right out to you. International customers, please add an extra $15 for international uh, shipping rates. But $29.95, Opportunity is Calling. You can send a check to Advanced Telecom Services, care of Bob Bentz, B-E-N-T-Z, 996 Old Eagle School Road, Wayne, PA, 19087. And in this is a wealth of information about the 900 industry in general, how to advertise your 900 number, and what makes a 900 number so very successful. You can also reach me on Facebook, my moniker there is Ballpark Bob, and you can reach me at Twitter, and also my moniker there is Ballpark Bob. So please keep in touch as best you can, and I'll try and update you on all the changes in the industry. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to do before we go into the financials of a 900 number here is tell you what you can't do on a 900 number. Most important thing that you cannot do on a 900 number is you can't sell goods. Okay, the carriers don't want to be billing for goods that have to be delivered after the fact because there could be a dispute on whether those goods were actually delivered or not. So you can't sell any hard goods. Uh, that's the number one thing that people inquire about that they want to sell on 900 numbers and you can't really do that. You must deliver the information in the call itself, meaning that you really can only sell information. You can't submit a package later. Uh, in exchange for the 900 number cost. Now 900 calls are billed directly to the consumer's home phone bill. They are not accessible in the United States from cell phones. So if you're looking to reach cell phones, you're going to have to use premium SMS services or text messaging. But uh, 900 is still very viable even though it, it doesn't allow cell phone access and there's plenty of landline customers out there that will dial your 900 number. Now the other thing you can't do in 900 numbers, which a lot of people don't realize, is adult entertainment has been banned by MCI, the carrier that we use, since 1992. So you can't do any adult entertainment, you can't do any erotic services on 900. If you think you've seen some advertised in late night, my guess is that those are dating services or chat lines that do not cross the line of being too adult. So uh, if you want to do an adult service, you really uh, can't use 900 numbers, contrary to the image that unfortunately the industry still suffers from from uh, the late 80s and early 90s. Um, as far as the financials on a 900 number, I wanted to give you a few examples. First of all, you can charge on a per minute basis so long as the minimum cost of the call is two dollars. You can also charge on a flat fee basis and you can charge up to $35 per call in the United States on a flat fee basis. Uh, the other thing that's important, and let me go to the board here, is there's something called a mandatory preamble. Okay, and the preamble is 18 seconds long. A preamble must be on all 900 number calls, and within the 900 number call you have to say who is the sponsor, you must say that uh, where the sponsor is located. You must say that you must be 18 years of age or older or have parents' permission to call. And you must give a discernible tone as to when the billing would begin. The discernible tone that we normally use on ours is billing begins in three seconds. Okay, so let me give you an example here of what you can expect to return. Let's assume for a second that you're going to do a 900 number that costs $2.99 per minute. Okay, now remember that the first 18 seconds is free to the consumer, and the consumer can hang up at any time within the first 18 seconds and not be charged. So if we did $2.99 a minute, and let's assume that the average call length was four minutes. 
Okay, it's a four minute call at $2.99 per minute. Okay, so what we have to do is the consumer is going to be charged in this case $2.99 times four, which would be $11.96. Okay, the cost of the call. Okay, now MCI gets their money first. Okay, and the transport costs at MCI. MCI transport, this equals 31 cents per minute. Okay, so this is a four minute call. We need to multiply 31 times four, which will get us a cost of $1.24. Okay, so we have $1.24 coming off of that $11.96. Now, in addition to the MCI transport, MCI will also charge what's known as the billing services fee. Okay? MCI Billing Services. Now this is 15% of the cost of the call. Okay, so if we take 15% times 1196, now I'm going to have to get my calculator out. 1196 times 0.15, we know that the billing services charge in this case is going to be roughly $1.79. So that's an additional cost that's going to come out of your net revenue. Okay, the next thing we have to cover is patent fees. There are patent fees in this industry on interactive telephone technology, and the holder of the patents gets 2% of the cost of the call. Okay, so we have an additional 2% cost of the call which 2% of $11.96 is approximately 24 cents. Okay, so what we have now is let's figure out how much money is left after MCI, the carrier, takes its cut. So we have $11.96, subtracting $1.24, subtract $1.79, and subtract 24 cents, and we have $8.69 that is left. Now, you also need a service bureau. You can't go directly with MCI unless you want to buy your own equipment, which is multi-million dollar investment, have 24-7 coverage with engineers. That's what we do as the service bureau at Advanced Telecom Services of Wayne, Pennsylvania. So we get 18 cents per minute on this call. So that's called the service bureau fee, okay? And it's equal to 18 cents a minute. Okay, so in this example, we have a four minute call, so that's 72 cents, which is what Advanced Telecom Services is gonna make. So if we do the math here, you can find out how much you have left on this particular four minute call at 2.99 a minute, which would be $7 and 97 cents. So that's your net revenue on a 900 call at 2.99 a minute. Now you do have taxes that come out of that as well, okay? And taxes may vary if you're an international customer, but what you do pay for is 18.1% of the usage fee or transport, okay, plus the billing fee. Okay? So if we add these two numbers up here, we have $1.79 plus $1.24 equals $3.03 .03, and we're going to take 18.1% of that and that's your taxes that are going to come off of this or 55 cents in taxes and this is 18.1% of the transport and billing. Okay, 55 cents. So after you pay your taxes, you're going to have $7.42 remaining. That's what you'll put in your pocket from a 900 call, approximately at $2.99 a minute.